Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why you're getting no communication codes. If you're getting U0001 or U0010, no communication code, or when you plug in your scan tool and you're also getting no communication as well, I'm going to tell you guys some of the common causes. If you plug in your scan tool in an OBD2 port or data link connector and it says no connection, the first thing you want to check is for a blown OBD2 port fuse. So the first thing you want to check is make sure the data link connector fuse is not blown. If it's not blown, the next thing you want to do is you want to check for power right at a data link connector. You want to check for power at number 16 using a test light and also you want to check the signal and chassis ground as well. If power is missing right at number 16 and the fuse is not blown, maybe you have a wire issue. For example, the pin behind the identity connector can become loose because the whole entire port sometimes come out of place and sometimes the pin gets pulled or the wire gets pulled and that can also cause a disruption in communication. In addition, check the pins on the scan tool. Make sure none of the pins are bent. If you're getting no or lost communication codes and you're getting U0001, U0010 codes, maybe you actually have an issue. For example, if you have engine performance issue and you have transmission performance issue and you're getting those codes, it's time to inspect the wire harness. If you're getting no communication codes for the engine or the transmission, the first thing I'd like to check is the uh, wire harness for the engine and transmission. Basically, you look, see all these wires over here? These wires connect all the uh, engine sensors and transmission sensor. It also link up the uh, engine control module, transmission control module, body control module, and so on. So the first thing I always check is the uh, computer ground. It is very easy to identify what is computer ground as you can see over here, you're going to see a series of wires going to one connection. And here's another series of wires going to another connection. And if the computer ground is completely rusted or the wire is broken, this can definitely cause communication issue. If there is a break or open somewhere in the communication wire, the uh, module cannot communicate with each other. For example, the engine control module, transmission control module, body control module, ABS control module, and so on cannot communicate with each other. Again, it will trigger these communication codes. There are a lot of reasons why these wires become damaged. And the one of the common reason why is because maybe these wires got chewed up by rodents. If you have rodents inside your engine bay, they like to chew up these uh, wires and it will cause an open in the communication uh, harness. Again, causing no communication issue. Or maybe the wires got damaged when you're changing a component inside the engine bay or transmission. Or maybe the wires got burnt. Maybe one of the wires is a little bit too loose and it got too close to the exhaust manifold and it started to melt away. There are a lot of reasons why these uh, wires can become damaged and all you have to do is just conduct a visual inspection and just find for open wires or burnt wires. If your wires checked out fine and you have no wire issue, let's just say all the connections are intact, there's no open or broken wires, and let's just say computer ground is fine, it's not rusted. Maybe you have a bad computer, for example, you could have a bad ECM, ECU, PCM, BCM, ABS control module, and so on. If you're having engine problem, for example, it's stuck in lymph mode, or you're having engine performance issue and you can't seem to figure out what the problem is, or you have transmission issue, let's just say it's shifting erratically and your vehicle's stuck in lymph mode, one thing I like to check is the uh, computer. And again, if I'm getting no communication code or I'm getting all sort of codes that don't make sense, I like to take the uh, computer apart and I like to check for issue. For example, you see this part over here? That's a burnt spot on the uh, computer. And here's another part that's burnt as well. 
So again, you can check your computer by removing the cover and you want to do a sniff test. Basically, you want to sniff the computer and if it smells burnt or it looks burnt, then you know this is causing your issue. When changing your computer, make sure to match up the parts number and make sure to reprogram your engine control module or transmission control module and so on. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.